Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is this year's first video and we're going to be kicking things off with another value oriented laptop. This is the My Ben Ben M543 and according to My Ben Ben, this is the successor to last year's laptop that I reviewed, the E527. So if you like that laptop and haven't had a chance to get one, um, this is probably the laptop that you're looking for right now. So today we're going to review the M543 and we're going to see if it lives up to the legacy that the E527 created. The M543 is equipped with a Ryzen 3 4300U. It is a quad core that has a base clock of 2.7 GHz and a boost clock of 3.7. It also has 5 GPU cores. The RAM starts at 4GB but my ben ben offers up to 16GB of DDR4 RAM. When it comes to storage, the main storage of the M543 is an SSD. It starts at 128GB up to 512GB of SSD storage. There is also a variant with a 1TB hard drive but if you choose the variant with only an M.2 SSD, don't worry. On the box, they include a caddy so you can install a hard drive yourself. And the battery on the E527 is now 51 watt hours. The build quality is the same as the E527. It's mostly made out of plastic. The deck and the back of the display has a silver finish. With that said, the M543 has a couple of improvements I'd like to mention. It is thinner and lighter than the M543, now weighing only at 1.75 kilograms. On the right side of the laptop, you see a Kensington lock, a gigabit Ethernet, USB 3.0, and a micro SD card reader. On the left side, you'll see the power port, HDMI 1.4, another USB 3.0, USB Type C with a 3.1 interface a microphone audio combo jack, and a power and storage access LED. The port selection is pretty standard but I think they could have done better. The USB Type-C is a nice addition but I think they missed the opportunity to add charging and alternative display port mode on that interface and it's not even that expensive since their sub 20k laptop, the S431, has this functionality. So yeah, those are just some nitpicks but I think overall, the ports are good. When I first took the M543 out of the box, the first thing I checked was the keyboard. Last year, I complained about the keyboard, the numpad to be specific, having a non-standard layout. So the M543, they fixed it. This is now a standard keyboard layout. The period on the numpad is now on the bottom. And yeah, they fixed the keyboard. The typing experience didn't really change much compared to the E527. For an average user, this isn't really much of an issue. The keyboard itself is still functional. Personally, after typing with the M540 for a couple of days, I got used to the keyboard. The trackpad is the same as the E527. It's still small, but they still used the Windows Precision drivers, making it precise and accurate. There's really nothing you can do about that. Um, it's functional, but if you don't like the trackpad, you could always just plug in your own mouse and call it a day. The webcam is unfortunately still 720p. There is a microphone besides the camera and I'm using it right now. The image quality is not the best, but I think this is more than enough for casual business meetings and online classes. The microphone is, well, you're listening to it right now, so you be the judge. I have tried at least five My Ben Ben laptops in the past year, and you know what they all have in common? Yeah, they all have terrible speakers and the M543 is no exception. So I'll just go say it right out of the bat. If you're going to be getting any My Ben Ben laptop, including the M543, just purchase a separate Bluetooth speaker or any speaker. So I'm going to be leaving my recommendations on the description. So go ahead and take a look at those and let's just call it a day. The display on the M543 is almost the same as the E527. It's still 15.6 inch. It's still an ADS panel. Um, so I just contacted my and asked them, 
They said that the M540 display is much more color accurate compared to the Q527. Other than that, the display brightness I think is okay. As you can see, I have a bright light on front of me right now and you can still see the colors on the display okay. Unlike the E527 which was equipped with a Ryzen 5, the M543 despite being more expensive only uses Ryzen 3. But don't let that fool you. On a side-to-side -side comparison with the E527's 2500U, the 4300U wins all of the tests that I've run. So here are the charts. As you can see, the M543 wins when compared towards the E527. But if the 4300 used performance isn't enough for you and your workload, um, according to a MyBenBen representative, they will be releasing an M543 with the Ryzen 5. So better watch out for that. You can throw any office task at this laptop and it would literally not break a sweat. You can even go ahead and use this for content creation, Photoshop, Illustrator, and even Premiere 1080p editing, and this could just handle it well. The M543 is not a gaming laptop. It does not have a discrete graphics card, and it only relies on a 5-core GPU that is integrated in the CPU. With that said, you can still play most esports title as long as you dial in the right settings and it will run smoothly. So here are some few gameplays that I recorded playing with the M543. The thermal solution on the M543 is really cool, <laughs> pun intended. Granted, this is only a 4300U, it's not that power hungry, hence it doesn't produce much heat. This is probably due to the fact that they are gonna be rolling out an, a Ryzen 5 version of this, so that might be where the headroom is for. With that said, the M543 does a good job with the thermals. It manages to keep the CPU at boost throughout the entire stress testing. Just like the E527, the M543 is upgradable, which in my opinion is one of the best selling points of this laptop. You can upgrade the RAM up to 32 gigs. You can upgrade the M.2. You can add a hard drive, like I said earlier, if your unit does not include the hard drive, they include the carry on the box which you can use then to upgrade or add a hard drive to your device in the future if you so desire. You can also upgrade the wireless card. If you buy the base model, you can be comfortable that in the future you can still squeeze a bit more performance just by upgrading the laptop itself. Last but not the least is the battery life. My ben ben advertised a 6 hour battery life on the M543. But on our testing, guess how long it lasted? It lasted 9 hours and 52 minutes. This improvement is thanks to two things. One is the efficiency of the Ryzen 4300U, and the second one is basically My ben ben chucking in a 51 watt hour battery. If you're the type of person looking for an on-the-go laptop, I think the MyBenBen M543 might be the laptop you're looking for. So in conclusion, the M543 in my opinion held up to the legacy that the E527 created. The M543 is a decently built laptop, it has upgradable components, the CPU is good and it has a 51 watt hour battery which can last you up to 10 hours of battery so that overall makes this one of the best laptop you can buy under 30,000 pesos
If you're interested in buying the M543, I will be leaving affiliate links in the description, which I highly appreciate if you use. And thank you guys for watching this video. This is my first video for 2021. And if you're new for this channel, please hit subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I always answer the comments, always. And don't forget to like this video as well. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace.